Okay, so uh, I'm desperate for butter. And so I found this at the store called almond flour. And the flaxseed was cheap, and I supposedly need to throw it that in to get some maybe uh, omega 3s. And I got online and looked for to see if I could make crackers with the almond flour. Turns out I probably can. So then I thought, well, what about bread? So this is my foray into cooking. <laughs> and so I have tried to make some bread. I made a half batch because I don't trust it to taste like anything other than sawdust. So it didn't say to spray this with Pam, but I did. I had read it was going to be crumbly and I didn't want it to crumble all apart. So far it's in one piece. Boy is that nice and thick. <laughs> uh, it looks like about one piece of bread. One person in the comments said that it tasted like eggs. Mm -hmm. I think I smell eggs. It's almost time to get a little bit of butter. It's got uh, the crust is a little bit firm. It kind of somebody said it tastes like cornbread. It uh, feels softer than cornbread. It's not as crumbly as cornbread. It's kind of bendy and flexible. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. Okay, I got my uh, butter from Ireland. Uh, Kerrygold butter, grass-fed, stuff's delicious. So even if this bread tastes like barnyard piles, it's probably going to be pretty good with that butter on there. Well, you can't turn the camera around once you've started a video, so I don't know if you, I can see me or not, but here goes. Tastes like an unidentified substance. Luckily the butter's on there. It really doesn't taste bad. Um, texture's not too bad. It's not a lot like bread. It's a little like bread. Like maybe health bread or something. Because it's dense. I think if I get enough butter on there, I could probably enjoy that.